Hey, Chad here. Just wanted to uh, drop a quick video uh, and a post. So I've gotten some feedback from uh, different Holland's videos that I've done, posts that I've done. Um, most of most have been uh, pretty good. Uh, there's folks who are definitely hung up on the uh, field of view uh, issue. I'm interested to know if any those who are hung up, at least those who left me comments about it, if they have actually used the HoloLens, you know, uh, whether it's even in the early days or the developer uh, edition that's out now. You can definitely, you know, I've been trying to pay more attention to it, and you can definitely see more in the room than the augmented reality stuff. But I've never really paid attention to that beforehand, like until people were like, you know, kind of dogging me about, oh, you really need to show this with a camera. Like, well, I'm not sure how I go about doing that. Like, put a camera inside the hall lens and, and let it see out. Might give that a shot. We'll see. It depends on how well it'll go. Um, so, but since then, I've been trying to really focus on, you know, on the uh, field of view, and I've just not seen that, that big of a deal. Um, your peripheral, you definitely see, you know, like right now, I see my hands, and you can see quite a bit of information around when maybe. You know, what you're actually seeing in front of you is probably like around here, right? So you definitely have peripheral stuff and same thing for top and bottom, right? So, you know, I can kind of see and it comes in. Uh, but, I mean, unless you're actually trying to expect you to be in your own little 3D world, it's not a big deal. Like, this is not virtual reality from the standpoint of like an Oculus Rift where you can't see anything in front of you because all of your field of view is the game, right, or whatever. And that's cool, um, but this isn't that. I mean, that's not the point. But what's interesting is you can still get a lot of those effects like you did with Hollow uh, Tours um, with like 360 videos and stuff they did where you really felt immersed. Even, even with your peripheral that can see other stuff, like your mind doesn't focus on that. That's not, that's not really what you're seeing. At least that's not what I was seeing, right? I was seeing the cool world I was in or whatever. And then I had to actually really go and focus on, oh, uh, yeah, I'm only only seeing like this this part here, and I can see my room on the edges. Okay, that's true, but that wasn't my focus to begin with. So I guess it comes down to, you know, what's the, you know, what's the objective? Are you doing it to enjoy the environment or what you're doing? Um, the way I see it is this is going to be the worst it ever is, right? Right now with the hollow lens. It's going to be the worst it ever is. And it's just going to continue to get better. So the new versions of HoloLens will come out and, you know, they'll make them smaller, make them more powerful. I mean, I'm running a computer on my head, walking around, and it's thinking run Unity games and apps and everything else. It's pretty, pretty bizarre. Uh, so let me just cut to what I, I want to talk about, and that is some of the feedback I've gotten um, was interesting. I got an email uh, from a, a guy on the HoloLens team. Okay, and and he said that he saw my video where I was doing the how to deploy a, a Unity app to the HoloLens, and in that app I just had, or in that video I had an app that I created, a music visualizer, and that music visualizer was not optimized at all. Like you know, it runs on my beefy machine, but that's all I really cared about at the time. So I definitely wasn't trying to optimize the thing, whatever else. It's kind of cool, but I thought that'd be kind of neat. See all these little blocks and stuff moving around to music. On the on the hall lens, and I said, well, that's that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm going to uh, going to port. And I did. I mean, again, I say port. There's really nothing to port. I just you know target the hall lens, right? So build settings as I showed in that video, and and boom, it was running the hall lens. Now it was running slower on the hall lens than doing my computer. But as I said in that video, I wasn't expecting any different because I didn't optimize the code. You know, to me, that's on that's on me to make sure my code. Is running well on devices now. Again, there can be bugs on devices and stuff like that. But the guy on the Hololens team, uh, Andy is his name. He he sent me an email. I said, "Yeah, can I send this around to uh, to our group saying why is this the worst app ever?" <laughs> or whatever. It's like, well, but what he meant was it's the worst performing app ever. Why is this performing so poorly on the Hololens? Like it shouldn't be doing that. And again, I that was not any kind of response I was expecting. I wasn't geared towards uh, Microsoft at all, but to me, that was pretty encouraging to even see that the guys who are guys and gals who are actually working on 
the uh, hollow lens itself. That they're seeing what uh, folks are doing out here in the wild already and providing even support uh, in certain instances and, and trying to understand how the device is being used and maybe some common mistakes that developers will make or whatever uh, in that scenario. And so it happens that, um, I, again, I made, I made some mistakes with that. So I am going to uh, be releasing a post explaining uh, what those what the mistakes are. Um, but right now, I'll just tell you the, the main one. Um, and just with this one fix is the video that you're about ready to see. So nothing else is taken into account. It's just this one fix. And that was using update instead of fixed update, right? So update gets called as fast as it can. Fixed update says I'm going to call exactly like say 0.2 seconds. Um, but I'm really excited uh, about the possibilities with this device and just augmented reality and virtual reality in general. I just think there's a lot of opportunities uh, in the future and just uh, being able to get in on the ground floor. It's just an exciting, exciting time, uh, I believe. Um, and knowing that you can even write your Windows apps, these universal apps, write them one time and, and they'll run across um, any kind of Windows device. And then you bring Xamarin in into place uh, where Microsoft just bought Xamarin and the tools they have. So now, okay, so you write your code, it runs on Android devices, iOS devices, Mac, Linux, and of course all the Windows stuff. Um, bring in Unity, right? So Unity targets all those platforms and you have games or visualized, uh, you know, demos and different apps like that uh, that can run cross-platform. It's definitely wild. We're definitely in an interesting uh, interesting time where uh, you'll be able to do a lot of reach. You get a lot of reach with just a little bit of effort. All right, enough of me blabbering. What I'm going to show now is just the uh, that same song. So you're probably tired of the song. That's fine. Uh, I like the song. Uh, it's, again, from Triple E, and it's called Insomniac. And I want to use the same song so you can, you know, compare this to the previous video if you wanted to and, and see the differences uh, between um, what it is now with just changing... Uh, two of my functions, uh, I had fixed updates, and that was actually all the the blocks. Was, uh, there was only two functions, but they're the ones that do all the work. Um, change that from uh, fixed update to update, and now to me, it's, it looks identical to the way it was wrong on my PC. Like, it doesn't seem any slower whatsoever. So, um, that's pretty neat. And again, I'll plan on doing a write up on you know the specifics between fixed update and update. And uh, it seems like maybe some of the guys on the uh, HoloLens team is, is uh, poking around the code and, and finding other things that uh, um, that should be done differently. So we'll see what comes out of that. And uh, as I get information, I'll definitely be passing that along uh, to folks too. So uh, if you're interested in that, if you're interested in the HoloLens uh, stuff, that's definitely what we'll be focusing on uh, for the foreseeable future, um, then by all means, uh, subscribe. And uh, that way you'll you'll see when the next one's coming out. Make sure if you want to see the um, text portion that goes along with this, you can check out my blog. Uh, it's chadcarter.net. Uh, or if you want to type all that in, just chd, so chad, but no a, chd.me, and I'll get you there. It's my uh, URL, short URL. So uh, with that, let's get to the video. Can I begin? Yes. With your hands high, waiting for that beat to take off. They don't wait, so stand by. When I'm breathing bangles, I say, Stay my shit, I stand by. Crying on shaking that beat, right? Land, land, slap. Please let me off my leash. I feel it, I feel it, I'm feeling too good. Like I'm a beast. Like a gorilla who's really in the hood. So I'm going on and on. I'll be wrestling when I'm gone. Rising grind is where I'm on. That's why I wrote the song. <laughs> Tonight I'm going out like my life's been this last all night. If I don't wake up in the morning, bro, I'm gonna be alright. Don't couch into the wind. Let go, we bad to go in. No slowing down, we go in. No slowing down, we know him. Pray. Tonight I'll skate out of follow and live long. 
Slowing down, we go in. No slowing down, we go in. Throw caution to the wind. Let go, we back to go in. No slowing down, we go in. No slowing down, we know him. Uh, okay, 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 I get it. What's the point of playing the game if you don't win it? Uh, I ain't never spit a sweet 16. I call that a gift, so you know I gotta bring it. Y'all live like minutes is infinite. If time isn't money, the white dripping and spinning. Finally found a girl that ain't in no fall all the time, so you know I had to ring it. Oh my, oh god, that ain't common, no girl, that's impressive. I'm trying to fight for the cause. Y'all wanna fight in my comment section. Dang, I don't get it, dog. Like that beat there's I'm getting involved. They said I never be nothing, but I think I still turn out awesome. I ain't into talking, I just get it done. They wanna get a job, I wanna get a gun. Huh. They wanna get a blunt and get burnt out like me in the sun. Why? I eyes to the octopus. Don't sleep now, it's inside me. Y'all worry about when them joints drop, but you ain't worried about when your body does. Dang. 